right, I've gotten started with the uh, sign here. I made a two by two frame out of some salvaged two by fours. I'm gonna put uh, 3 8 CDX plywood on each side using some inch and a quarter deck screws. And also using some clamps to help straighten out the frame. Now I'm just going to go over it with a sander just to help smooth out the uh, surface. There's one knot that needs to be repaired. I'm going to fill it in with some cyan acrylate glue and then fill it with some sawdust. That'll fill in the uh, divot and then sand that flush. I decided to put some rosin paper behind the uh, vinyl banner. It'll help to absorb moisture if any moisture gets behind the uh, vinyl and creates a little bit of a release between the wood and the vinyl. I'll lay out the banner. I tried to stretch it as best I could and put some screws in the corners. Then went with some staples along the top and bottom edge. Now I added a one by around the edge. For around the edge there, I found some old pine downstairs. I uh, ripped to uh, two and a half inches. Now for the frame around the uh, banner uh, to cover the edge of the banner, I uh, got some of this baseboard I had downstairs. Uh, it's half inch baseboard. And it's already got a little rabbit in the back. So I ripped that to uh, two and an eighth inches. And just widened out the rabbit a little bit on the table saw. And then mitered the corners and installed some caulking right here and right here to seal up the edge of the banner and to uh, kind of glue the molding in place. But the molding needs to be removable in the future if I need to replace the banner. So it'll be simple to take off. And I use these washer head screws around the edge uh, these are great. I've been using these a lot lately for all kinds of things. They're a T15 head. Actually called a cabinet screw, but it's treated lumber approved and exterior siding approved. All right, I got the old sign torn down, and these are the brackets I was mounted to. Uh, I put these up uh, 20 years ago. And they need repainting, so I gotta take them off and paint them, and uh, the mounting blocks are getting rotted. So it all has to be redone. 
and the other sign was completely rotted it just fell right off all right here's the old sign it was just uh, completely rotted i didn't realize it was this bad it was actually pretty close to falling off i had this uh made about 20 years ago then several years later i had this uh, metal sign made I did a name change and added the woodworks to it. And then a couple of times I changed the lettering at the bottom here. And then I didn't like that, so I just covered it up with a strip of wood and stained it. And it didn't look that great, so. And it's all cracked. The vinyl is all cracked on it. So there's a piece of metal there I can salvage or something. And this one got bent, but it was taking down. So these got to come down and uh, rebuild them. All right, I've got the uh, brackets back up. I put new blocking on the roof, bolted that in with some extra two by fours underneath. Just space it off the roof. Got them screwed in right now. I'm going to add some more bolts later. Then I've got uh, two cleats up there. One is a French cleat and one is just a uh, two by six. And the French cleat has a 45 degree angle on it. And I've got the opposite 45, which is called a French cleat. So all you gotta do is just raise it up there and hook it on the uh, other two by. Then the bottom two by six will just uh, support it on the bottom here. And I've already uh, painted the back side to seal it up. Just to make sure your stain I've had. Then I'm gonna do the uh, front side when I hang it up there. I can see the new blocking, uh, two on, all pressure treated. So there's space underneath here. And the brackets are screwed to that. I'm gonna add some extra bolts later. And on the back side here, I just have a screw in place. On each one, and I'm going to add a lag bolt. And here's the uh, French cleat it's on a 45 degree angle this way. So the sign will hook on top of that. So it's very easy to raise it up and uh, support it. It weighs about 65 pounds. All right, here's the uh, finished sign. On the outside here, I just used uh, black latex paint and uh, applied it like a stain. Just brushed it down and then wiped it down a little bit so it looks worn and old. And then I'll just kind of weather out. And those screws look nice. They almost look like old nails from the ground. And here's the rail on the back. I just threw a coat of black paint on that. Wasn't too fussy about how it looks. And here you can see the French cleat. How it hooks on to the other rail. So all you do is lift the sign up the ladder, lift it up, and then hook it onto the uh, rail. That held it in place while I got it leveled up and then permanently attached the rails. Added some extra screws, one three inch screw, down all the way down through that block. This block is bolted to the roof. And I got those uh, lag bolts into the rails. So it's not going anywhere. It's nice and rigid and solid. Now down along the front here, I was a little concerned about water getting down behind this rail. So I put a clear sealant here and up this edge. Didn't put any here because I wanted to be able to breathe. And then brushed a uh, coat of that uh, clear sealant, just ran some beads and then used a brush to kind of brush it out so it uh, seals up the top here. I might go over it with one more pass of that clear sealant.